video. So what's this complete utter and utter doing this week? Well, I'm about 30 kilometers into a 600. So it's Friday night, started, left home at 6 p.m. So it's gonna be over two, two nights. And uh, I'm off to Ely, basically. Uh, yeah, so uh, something a bit different. Um, so I've just come through Cheltenham. I'm just on the outskirts now. Uh, just got up here about a quarter of a mile, and I'm at the race course then. And then uh, that's Cheltenham ticked off. So uh, yeah, it's been pretty busy traffic-wise because the uh, back end of uh, Friday night um, rush hour. But uh, yeah, it's uh, a stunning evening. I think both both evenings or uh, both night periods are meant to be quite warm. So. Shouldn't need too much to wear. It is a little bit windy. It's go basically going to be a crosswind, cross headwind, and a cross tailwind on, on the way out and then on the way back. Anyway, let's crack on. I'll uh, talk to you in a bit. Oh, so uh, about 5k further on from where I spoke to you before, and uh, just stopped in this petrol station to. Uh, Get some food for the overnight section for the first one. So I don't need to stop now until, well, I can stop whenever I like really, rather than being governed by overnight petrol stations. So, um, yeah, I did that 35k in about an hour and a half. So, uh, we're all good. Yeah, so uh, what's made me uh, do it like this? Well, several factors really. Um, this is my third attempt at 600 this year. Never uh, to struggle this much to get that one done, but I think it's more in my head than in physical. Anyway, yeah. Uh, um, uh, you know, so I've been using up my holidays from work, and uh, I want to do a bit of bike touring, so uh, I want to use it for that really. So. I've, not allowed myself to do that until I've got this complete as a bit of um, motivation, I suppose you'd call it. So anyway, yeah, so this is fairly flat. And so I might actually have another go at the other two because they're both different routes. Uh, after this, you know, I might do a bit of camping, go and do something different. And then uh, come back and have another go at one of the others because, uh, you know, they're both pretty good, good routes. Hello folks, so uh, I'm about five miles from uh, Alcester now, if you wonder where Alcester is, it's near Redditch, in the Redditch area, uh, just came through uh, Evesham, um, about six miles back, and uh, the pubs are doing a roaring trade, lots of people sat out on tables outside, you know, Anyway, the time's now about ten past nine, so I've been going about three hours, ten minutes, and I've done 43 miles, so uh, progress is good. Anyway, I don't know why I'm walking, because uh, I don't need to be. I just uh, wanted to walk a bit from that house so that I uh, didn't hear my voice and wonder what the heck's going on. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's get this one done. Let's crack on. Well, I'm about four miles from Warwick now. It's ten o'clock. We've just gone, and uh, yeah, I've been going just over four hours now, and I'm not far off a hundred k. So uh, progress has been pretty good actually. And I put that down to a little bit to the roads because uh, quite often I already do these routes and they're all sort of gravelly little lanes, you know, and progress is quite slow so uh, yeah so it's pretty good so far I'm just stopping for a rest here because uh, now uh, nearly, as I say nearly 100k so I only stopped once in that petrol station in uh, Bishop's Cleeve at 40k so um, yeah so uh, don't want to do too many too long a stints if you know what I mean I don't want to overdo it but uh, yeah it's been pretty good so far 
Um, yeah, so uh, t yesterday or today and tomorrow is supposed to be quite warm. So uh, by doing having two overnight sections, it means that I don't um, don't have too much. I don't have two days in the, over the hot part, if you know if that makes sense. So uh, yeah, that's my my theory on it. And I had a good night's sleep last night, so I'm just going to ride through tonight. And I'm going to play tomorrow night by ear. Um, I haven't brought my bivvy bag this time. Uh, I have do, however, have an emergency bivvy bag. So uh, if if I have to have a, a sleep and uh, I've got something. But I haven't got my full size one, if that makes sense. This one packs down quite small. Anyway, I'm in Norton Lindsay. Just gonna have a quick bite to eat and then press on. Hello folks, I'm in a place called Southam. Uh, about 10 miles southeast of Leamington Spa. And uh, just stopped here for uh, a bite to eat. Just put my GA on. It's not cold at all. I'm not gonna even bother putting my arm warmers on, but I put my GA on and my, uh, my reflectives. And uh, I'm about 23 miles from Northampton now. Uh, down about 72 miles, so it's 100 and what, 16k. Oh, it's uh, not too bad. In, uh, in about 5 hours, 25 minutes, I can uh, quite easily take it steady for quite a while, to be honest. Anyway, I'll speak to you in a bit. Hello folks, in a place called uh, Cold I am or something like that. I actually stopped here on my uh, up over to day 200 the other week and uh, yeah so I'm just uh, having a bit of a drink. I need some water. I've run, I've near enough run out of water now so um, <clears throat> I didn't plan that particularly well. Uh, I'm about I don't know, probably seven or eight miles from Northampton now. And it flattens off after that as well, so that'd be good. It's been a little bit uh, up and downy. Nothing massive, but just enough to, to sting the legs. It's, uh, yeah, it's all going pretty well so far. Bit of a progress update. I'm now on the far side of uh, Northampton. I'm on the, the bike path alongside the main road, the River Ning to my right. Uh, I'm hoping that there is a petrol station I usually stop at a couple of miles up the road there. I'm hoping it's 24 hours so I can get some water. Uh, I'm good for food, but uh, yeah, I'm at a water basically. And uh, well, it's a uh, kick and eight time in the club, so I wasn't going to be stopping in Northampton. Uh, Although I only saw a handful of people. So uh, yeah, it's about 2am now. Progress has been pretty good. So uh, I'm probably 5k away from doing the uh, metric ton. Imperial ton rather. Uh, uh, so that's, what's that, eight hours? I don't bad going to be perfectly honest. And uh, I feel pretty good, so uh, yeah, let along may it continue. I know you can't see me, but uh, it's just coming at the 3 a.m. Uh, 176 kilometers done in uh, nine hours. Uh, so I'm not too bad going. Um, petrol station in by uh, building Aquadrome was uh, closed, it wasn't 24 hours, so uh, the need for water is still there. Um, you know, petrol stations and things should start opening up soon, so uh, in the next few hours, so I should, should be all right. I can just see the uh, the sky in front of me just starting to lighten. The first uh, 
signs of dawn so that'd be good when we're back in daylight again <clears throat> good thing about doing these in this time of year is uh, you know the actual dark isn't that, that long anyway uh, I shall speak to you probably when it gets a bit lighter so a uh, bit of a, a progress update um, it's now just gone 5 a.m. or is it p.m. then uh, I'm in a place called Buck, Buckton, and uh, the uh, the water shortage issue has been resolved. There's a petrol station on the roundabout back there, and there's like a dual carriageway. So uh, I was aware it was there, but I didn't know whether it was 24 hours, and it was, thankfully. So uh, filled up with some water. I'm just going to sit here for 10, 15 minutes, and. Uh, Lots of fizzy pop, and uh, I think I'm about an hour up on where I thought I would be at this point. So uh, progress is pretty good, actually. Feel feel all right. So uh, hopefully I'm not speaking too soon. But uh, I'm fairly sure we come through here on the full uh, fat festive 500 put it in the opposite direction and I've never seen it in daylight so I'm I'm not sure I'm sure we do though I'll, I've made a mental note of that petrol stations before I ride it again it's, uh, yeah that went too bad as night, night sections go didn't as you can see I'm still not in uh, um, army and just didn't need them put the judo on and that was enough so it's going to be probably pretty warm for later. So anyway, I'm going to crack on with this uh, busy pop. I'm in uh, Huntingdon, and uh, I believe this is called uh, Huntingdon Brook. So uh, I basically from here do a bit of a loop. We come back into uh, hunting gun a little bit later. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's that's it basically. A uh, bit of a loop and then a slight different route. It's not like an act back uh, from this point, but uh, I do come back through uh, hunting gun. Oh, sorry. Morning, folks. So uh, it's just gone 7 p.m. Uh, a.m. rather, and I'm in Chatteris. 250 kilometres done. Um, I'm waiting for Londis to open, so I'm having a bit of a extended rest here. I've uh, got about another 20 minutes or so. They open. Um, I, I feel like some sort of uh, food that's sort of wet, if you know what I mean. So, uh, probably be yogurt or something like that. Um, yeah, I think uh, the dehyd you know, where I was dehydrated from the the water shortage thing earlier, I think it's had a bit of an effect. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, have a rest here. So, uh, yeah, sort of fifty k to uh, Ely, and then, uh, well, I mean, touring for homes before then, really. Of a better description, um, it's just a, just up uh, here, a place called Welney, uh, and that's basically the sort of furthest sort of village away from home, if you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be good for the head. Um, yeah, so it's uh, a few spots of rain uh, about 20 minutes ago. I just stopped to get something out of my saddlebag. Oh, spots of rain here. But it's blown over now, so I don't know what that was all about. So uh, I've been in the shop behind me and uh, they didn't have an awful brilliant selection to be honest, but I uh, had some uh, Muller rice and some bananas. And the uh, good news is that uh, I've realized I'm like six hours, 40 minutes, or it was six hours, 40 minutes in 
in hand. So I'm like, rather than trying to do this quick, let's just try and get round it. So uh, yeah, I'm mean, not in any hurry now, really. Uh, I've got, I worked today that uh, I've got uh, 24, 28 hours to do 350k. So um, yeah. Let's just try and get around it, I suppose. That's what I'm trying to say. Rather than trying to do it quickly. So, uh, now I'm going to back right off now. Well, you can see I'm not in Gloucestershire anymore. <laughs> anyway, I'm on the fens near Welney. I think it's a nature reserve here. And uh, let me just cross the road here. So you can see this... Uh, I don't know what you would call this. A river. It's off into the distance. Wow. So, uh, this is me figuratively and uh, actually turning for home. This is this is where I turn back towards home, so uh, I'm now at the furthest point away from home, really. Here we are, folks, in Ely. This is the cathedral behind me, the uh, with the uh, scaffolding on. So, uh, yes, yeah, 10, 10 a.m. now, and uh, that's halfway. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, the wind won't be quite so much of a headwind since Welney. It's been uh, been quite a few headwind sections, so uh, that made it a little bit hard. But uh, yeah, it's uh, going all right. Going all right. So uh, now it's back towards uh, St Ives, and then Huntingdon again, as I mentioned earlier, and then uh, St Neots. Bedford, Milton Keynes, Tame, Dukot, and the sort of the Swindon area. And then across to uh, Thornbury, Aldbury on Severn, and then back up north, up the A38 home. So, uh, and I've got 24 hours to do that in. Well, I've actually got 26, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on 40 hours and have the two hours if I need it in my head, you know. So I'm just having my second breakfast. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, just getting some uh, food into me again. Uh, I hadn't appreciated how warm it was until I went into the co-op down the road there with its air conditioning <laughs> and you're like ah it's really warm out eh? I know that sounds really daft thing to say but uh, yeah I really hadn't appreciated how, how um, warm it had got not quite as sunny as it was yesterday and uh, there's a lot of cloud here anyway I'm going to finish off my food and get on the move so this is the first time I've been to Ely and during the day. It's normally in the evening, you know. Quite appreciated how uh, busy it gets. And there were some um, Morris dancers outside the uh, cathedral. Uh, so this is the uh, route into Bedford. So I'm about three miles outside of Bedford now. And I'm just going to stop here and have a, a bite to eat so I'm feeling a bit empty again. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the, uh, the path is a bit wet. I have had some rain, but it hasn't been too bad. Could have been worse. But yeah, the uh, Garmin is saying uh, ETA at home is quarter to six tomorrow. Uh, I'd be surprised if it started to be later than that. It's, uh, yeah, it's all going well so far. This is 
Thetford. Hello folks, you find me now in Milton Keynes. Just uh, having a bit of a sit down and uh, got my feet out. Let them have a bit of air. Uh, sun's come out and it's really hot now, so uh, it's gone from one extreme to the other. Not that I'm complaining. But, um, yeah, so uh, I've got 17 hours to do 216k. So, uh, should be good for that. Come through uh, Winslow. Uh, if you've ever done Will Pomeroy's uh, Festive 500, you'll know Winslow. Uh, I'm actually going in a different direction, the opposite direction uh, to what uh, we do on that. So uh, it's always that sort of. Um, what it looks like in the other way really I suppose. <laughs> anyway I've stocked up on more uh, fluids there and uh, I didn't hang around there actually because I was, I was uh, in need of water in this scenery you know what I mean. Anyway scores on the doors. Doors on the doors, let's have a look. Uh, 200k to go. Nice. Yeah, 200k exactly. Hi, folks. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure the really name I'm in. Uh, it stops in this uh, petrol station. Just a top up once again. Um, I've probably got enough to get me through the night now. And so I'm just getting myself sorted out for uh, the night section. <clears throat> um, so it's less, we're in uh, Imperial double figures now, so that's good. <clears throat> Look forward to being in um, metric double figures. Anyway, I'm gonna have something to eat and then uh, crack on. Hello, folks, it's been a fair while since I've uh, hit the camera up. Uh, in fact, starting to get light. But uh, I'm now in Acton Turville. It's not that far from Bristol, and uh, I'm now going to head to the northwest through Badminton, across the A46, to Hawkesbury Upton, up to the monument, and I'm going to drop off the uh, uh, Cotswold Escarpment there, down into Wickwar, across the Thornbury. Old Brion Severn and then head north. Only 600. Uh, my feet are killing me. Uh, I'm just going through the motions to be perfectly honest. But uh, yeah, I should, uh, barring a, a mechanical, I uh, should be good. Okay. Anyway, folks, I'll, uh, I'll pick you up in a bit. That's a Hawkesbury uh, monument. Silhouetted against the, uh, the very gradually uh, brightening sky over there, and uh, I'm just about to dip down. There's a little lane there, and uh, just going to drop off the edge of the world down into uh, Wickwar and then across to uh, Thornbury and then uh, back up through the lanes. Struggled as much as I have this year, and it's just down to 
bit this year. Better for next year. Anyway, I'm not going to make much sense because I'm so knackered, but uh, I'll see you on the next video.